shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you want, a piece of candy or chicken? Ugh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> What a do, what a do, what a do do do. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Big country. Yeah, bringing you another episode of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on one of my least favorite maps. And the only reason there really is is because you got all these daggone snipers that want to head glitch over on the ramps and just stupid shit. And people camp in this damn game all the time. Uh, but it, it's the game. It is what it is. But, you know, I see the look at the scoreboard here. I am rolling solo. This is 6v6 domination. Carrie, I wound up having a decent game. Uh, as you see right now, I'm, I'm going from all the way around the map looking, trying to get behind them. Come over here looking for the snipers. And lo and behold, this is actually a game that didn't have any of them, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Now, the good part about this map is that air support is beast. Um... Especially when the other team doesn't shoot them down. So, hope you enjoy the gameplay. I had a pretty good time. I, I want to talk to you too, man. I'm I'm going up against, uh, not really against. I'm I'm starting to go back, have some changes come along on my channel. Now look, I'm I'm just over a minute in. I just now get my first kill. I've already got two caps for my first kill finally. So, but anyway, back to the changes of my of my channel. Um, you know, I did a lot of variety. I mean, which the variety is not going to change. But I haven't done a lot of Call of Duty in a long time. And let's face it, I am a Call, I'm a COD fanboy. I mean, we all are. We, that's why we buy the game every year. We all love Call of Duty. We all love the game Call of Duty. Um, we don't like the bullshit involved with it, but we love Call of Duty. Uh, I don't care what you say. Everybody likes, everybody, it's the number one shooter game out there. There's no other game that competes with it. And it is what it is. So, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm pretty much getting back into the game, into the mentality of playing the game. Now, it takes me, I do enjoy running with parties because it's fun hanging out with your buddies. But at the same time, it's not really good for me, uh, connection-wise, when I'm rolling with people because, I don't know, my connection, I don't know. I'm like in a black hole of West Virginia when it comes to internet-based connections. And it just sucks. So, I gotta, I gotta cycle through a lot of games just to get uh, find a lobby that I have a decent connection on uh, for whatever reason so and this game here you see I'm rocking the uh, gold vector silence with the laser uh, I, I love this gun uh, also with the um, I think I picked up somebody's m27 with a target finder is that one that working out I like the m27 too but I do like this gun I believe I use uh, ghost Fast hands and dexterity. Either dexterity or engineer. Uh, I do know since I have started using perk 2 and perk 3 greeds, run on scavenger along with um, fast hands or, uh, or uh, ghost. And on the third tier, I run um, most of the time engineer and dexterity. Or, or tap max, rather. Not dexterity. Tap mask. But yeah, I'm going to start doing a lot more Call of Duty. And I, as right here, I just threw my Call of Lightning Strike in. I threw it on B uh, with the intention of running, and I ran right into a fucking grenade. So, another thing you're going to notice about me, too, is I want to try to control my language a little more. Um, I, I mean, I will cuss because I, I really don't care. But I think I need to control my language a little more. And try to be a little bit cleaner. Because I can only imagine <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13 year old kids watching my uh, two piece. Uh huh. Um, watching my uh, three piece, eh, give me a triple. Uh, watching my videos going, you know, saying some of the things that I say when I get start ranting and raving and uh, upset, and then parents walking in the room just saying, "Hey, turn that, turn, turn it off now." You know, so kids that young don't really need to be hearing my, uh, you know, the way I talk most of the time. So I'm going to take make a con con conscience conscious effort <laughs> I can't even talk this morning to control my language a little more uh, and and you know I just start focusing on um, you know what is it, 80% of our views are from uh, the 12 to 15 year range 12 to 17 so I just start looking at that and you know like I tweeted out the other night you know 2013 is going to be is kind of phase two of my uh, my um, Securing a. I, I guess you could say experiment but uh, some people are going to like me, 
some people are, I mean, some people's opinions aren't going to change about me. But some people is going to hate me, probably. So, there will be some associates lost uh, over this year, I'm certain. Uh, you know, if you're wondering who I call associates, I don't call everybody friend. Um, if I don't hang out with you on a regular basis, and if I don't talk to you on a regular basis, you're not really a friend to me. Uh, you're, you're an associate. You're someone that I know. Now, there are a couple of ex uh, ex exclusions to that rule. But for the most part, that's just the way it is. Um, so that some of those will be lost. Some will be gained. We're going to see how it works out. But my fam is going to stay there. And speaking of fam, we just got off a Skype call a little while ago, man, which was amazing. It was like a three-hour Skype call. And Jay had this idea to do the... Losing uh, speed. To do some awards <laughs> for the 2012 awards, just just in the group. wasn't nothing live, wasn't nothing public. It was just us in general. Just uh, it was Nappy, J Nuck, Vegas Jamie, Twit Twit, Iniquity, Texas Dro, and Swag Chica, and myself, of course. That right there is the immediate fan. If you ever wonder who the immediate fan is, just go look at go look at our sub boxes. That is the immediate fan. And, you know, yeah, after, you know, we were talking about everything in the Skype call. And, and the topics that Jay brought up was was amazing. Uh, that was a really good idea. I mean, there were some other, some things that I didn't think about. And I actually misconstrued the, the meaning of some of the, for some of the topics. But, you know, it is what it is. I do that a lot because I'm the old man of the group. I'm the oldest fart in the group. I, you know, I got gray hair. <laughs> I'm even going bald in some areas. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. When you have your group, you, you, you tend to value them and uh, keep the importance uh, of the relationship there. And when you can speak your mind 100% to each other and remain friends, then you know it's true. Uh, you know it's real. You know it's not fake. And, uh, yeah, so that's how you can tell who your true friends are. I don't think there. I, I know. Not that I don't think. I know for a fact. Even if I or myself look at what I got on the screen right now. I got the stealth chopper and the drone up, the escort drone. Those in combination are amazing. So, but uh, yeah, I can say for myself. If you, if if you, know, I know for a fact right now. Anybody in our group, if any uh, one of us either got excluded or got disbanded or just left or whatever. Nothing will go public of it. And there I go running into another random grenade again. So that's the type of people that you need to have around you. The people that you can trust. And you know that if something does happen between you, nobody's going to go straight up, you know, bringing out public tweets or bringing out, you know, public Skype messages or giving out your cell phone numbers or just broadcasting stupid shit like that out. Nobody's going to be causing drama against each other. I mean, if you get to where you hate somebody, you might talk shit about them. But when it comes to the personal stuff, uh, I, I don't. I, I know for a fact no one would put that shit out there. And that's what you need around you. You gotta have the trust. You gotta have the love. You gotta have the fam factor. And you just—that's how you build your peep. That's how you build your uh, your area on YouTube. It is finding your click and growing together and doing your own thing. And then networking, which is something that I haven't done at all this year. But I want to reach out, and start networking some more. And start replying, uh, start responding to a lot more uh, opportunities that have been offered my way. Then again, maybe I've said no too much, so maybe I won't have any more options. But you don't know. We'll see what happens. But the game is coming to an end, and it was a pretty good game. Uh, uh, there's a couple, you know, gun battles. I'm sure you saw. Like, what the hell, country? Why didn't you win that shit? You know, what, all I can say is, I do know when my kid watches me play. He's like, dude, didn't you see that guy? I'm like, no, I didn't. I don't know my vision. I don't know why. Sometimes I just don't see people that are there for, for whatever reason. But uh, there you go, guys. I think I can't see on the screen there, but I think it was 47 and 10 with six caps and or five caps and 16 defends. So that right there is a rusher's play style. And, you know, boom. Anyway, guys, expect some more Call of Duty from me, some more regular commentaries. I want to get back into the commentary status of things, and uh, I hope you enjoy the content to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Country out.